Good Wednesday morning to you. I'm Heather Brown. This is CBS Minnesota's morning update. Be sure to grab your jacket out there this morning. If you're waking up, you'll see there might be some snow on your grass or on your car there. Let's get you up to speed on the weather. It is going to be a chilly one today. Uh, Riley tells us we'll see some drizzle this morning. Uh, it is uh, the roads out there are not great. So if you are Heading out, if you're watching this early in the morning, please be careful, take your time, because even just that light slow shower from overnight ca caused a mess all across the metro. Should warm up just a little bit by 4 o'clock this afternoon, but we're not going to see much sunshine today. Let's jump right into this. Have you been part of the cryptocurrency bandwagon? You know, the Bitcoin, the Coinbase, the NFTs, I mean, whatever those things are. So Coinbase, it's a new cryptocurrency. It's going public today on NASDAQ. So the stocks is priced at $250 a share. Now the Coinbase there, but this tells us if you calculate it all up, the company is worth more than $50 billion. That is huge. This is the first cryptocurrency that is, is going public. The anticipation has helped to drive crypto prices higher. Uh, you know them, you know, some of them is, one of them is Bitcoin. Uh, it's also come to an all-time high. Look at that there, $38,000 for one piece of Bitcoin. So we want to know what you think about this. Are you getting in? On this cryptocurrency craze, are you jumping on the bad wagon? Do you wish you'd gotten in several years ago? Uh, or maybe you're just really confused by all of it. Trust me, you are not alone on that one. I would love to hear what you think about cryptocurrency, about Coinbase, about Bitcoin, about NFTs. Uh, if you're watching here on Facebook, uh, leave a comment here, and I'm going to read through a couple of those in just a moment. It was another tense night in Brooklyn Center after the Dante Wright shooting. Now, we could find out today if the former police officer who shot Wright during a traffic stop will be charged with his death. Kim Potter has resigned after 26 years with the Brooklyn Center Police Department. Police Chief Tim Gannon resigned as well. Now, protesters who were out past curfew last night clashed with police for a third night. At least 60 people were arrested. After getting the situation in Brooklyn Center under control and the crowds clearing out last night, authorities then came to reiterate their main message. They say that they will not tolerate dangerous behavior. They did show off a table full of some items that they say police threw, people threw at police during the confrontations. They say it included rocks, bricks, and cans. And people in Brooklyn Center are finding ways to help those in their community who need it. A resource center has sprung up at the city's high school. It's powered completely by donations. Organizers say that they've served 1,000 families in the last two days. Dante Wright's memorial site has been helpful, too, giving people a place to share and to grieve together. At a healing event on Tuesday, many people were questioning why Kim Potter was even allowed to resign. I can't mistake one medication for another. And... We all make mistakes. We have accidents. We get that. I sympathize with that. But at the same time, you have to, oh, you're no. playing with somebody's life. So speakers at the events once again called for greater police accountability. One person suggesting that holding everybody on the officer's shift be responsible for those mistakes. More witnesses for the defense in the Derek Chauvin trial today. The defense did begin presenting its case yesterday. Six people testified for the defense. Uh, the longest one on that stand was Barry Broad. He's a use of force expert who said that Derek Chauvin's actions were reasonable during that fatal encounter with George Floyd. I felt that Derek Chauvin was justified and was acting with objective reasonableness following Minneapolis Police Department policy and current standards of law enforcement. So his testimony does contradict numerous experts and many police officers, even Minneapolis officers called by the prosecution. We do expect a toxicologist will take the stand this morning. Still unclear, though, if Derek Chauvin himself will testify. There is one less option this morning when it comes to getting your COVID-19 vaccine. All 50 states are halting the use of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Now, as we first told you yesterday morning, this pause follows the recommendation from the CDC and the FDA, excuse me, the FDA. They are investigating six cases. These are reported cases of women between the ages of 18 and 48 that developed a rare blood clotting disorder. Nearly 7 million Americans have gotten that J&J &J shot. Now, what does this really mean if you've already gotten that vaccine? And what does it do to our supply? Well, 
State Fairgrounds opens today as new max COVID vaccination sites. They tell us that Minnesotans living in certain zip codes can sign up. That's because FEMA wants to prioritize communities with more social vulnerabilities. President Joe Biden is planning to announce a full withdrawal of U.S. troops in Afghanistan. Two people familiar with the plan say that U.S. troops will withdraw by September 11th, ahead of the 20th anniversary of the terror attack. Trump administration had set a May 1st deadline in agreement with the Taliban. U.S. officials say that there are currently about 2,500 troops in Afghanistan. A massive cargo ship, the one that was blocking the Suez Canal, has been impounded. Egyptian authorities say that they will not allow the ever given to leave the country until its Japanese owners pay a compensation amount. Local reports are putting that figure at $900 million. Results of an investigation into the ship's accident are expected tomorrow. So this one is hardly a shocker. WCCO Radio announced last night that the winner of Mr. Basketball here in Minnesota for the second straight year, he comes from Minnehaha Academy, Chet Holmgren, follows Jalen Suggs as the winner. He plans to announce his college choice later. He did lead his team to a state title and is considered one of the best senior basketball players in the country. All right, let's head back to today's talker. We're talking about Coinbase going public in their IPO. What are you doing with these digital currencies, these cryptocurrencies? And Annette says, I think bit money. <laughs> and all that is a huge mistake. And you are better off doing things a different way. Yeah, I think there's a lot of people that are a little wary of what's going on with all of this cryptocurrency. Nikisha, though, says, I am willing to take a risk and I'm hoping it will pay off. A lot of people in that boat too, looking at the price of Coinbase or Bitcoin. Jackie says, my husband got up two hours early for his Coinbase release. His order is in, fingers crossed that it is a good buy. Well, I'll tell you, a lot of people saying this is a good choice to make. Uh, Jody says, I do not understand Bitcoin or crypto. Uh, Jody, I think most people are in the boat with you on that one there. Uh, Becca saying the same thing, do not understand Bitcoin or cryptocurrency. Um, you know, this is kind of the wave of the future. At least that's what the people who are pushing these cryptocurrencies tell us. So we could be hearing a lot more of, about it. Um, sounds like monopoly money to me, but I know a few people who live by it. Thanks everybody for sharing this morning with us about cryptocurrency. Uh, we are the CBSN Minnesota Morning Update. We are your only local streaming news source. Find us by downloading any our app on any of your devices. You can also find us wcco.com. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow.